Hey everyone, my name is Kerry. Welcome, welcome back to Homestuck. In the previous video, we kind of took a little look, you know, beyond the fourth wall, saw some weird things, and then we took a step back, and now we're looking at the other side now, <laughs> back at our, you know, John and our other beloved kids. John has now gone through the, you know, the gate to into Rose's planet. But Rose here is a little catnap of her own with uh, Dream Dave. But before Dream Dave went to his dream state, that little sneaky guy, man, he was having John take a you know a look at Rose's private journals by you know flipping the back so he could like well first he kept he had John capture lock it and then flip it over so he could look at the code. Dave, that that sneaky guy. I just know. Later on, he's gonna make that item that he's gonna be like perusing through Rose's journals and invading her privacy. I just I just know he's gonna do it, but that's probably gonna be for later. For now, I guess John is leaving our beloved daughter. We have deployed our beloved precious daughter Casey here because apparently we, we're not gonna be taking her with us because it's too dangerous. I just feel like you shouldn't have taken her with us in the first place, but you know. We're just gonna leave that behind, like we're leaving our salamander daughter behind, and we're continuing on as uh, a troll is bugging Rose now, so we're gonna answer the troll. So I don't know if we're answering it as we're, we're answering as Rose. Oh, well, that's gonna be fun. Grim Auxiliatrix GA began trolling Tentacle Therapist TT. I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to antagonize a few members of your trivial species. I have to start somewhere. And someone, so I'm starting with you. And now it's going to be pointless and unpleasant, mostly for me. Actually, you know what? I'm not really feeling this at all. Goodbye. <laughs> she's not here right now. She's asleep. But okay, see you. Is this your human sarcasm that I've heard about that you always use, and that is basically a terrible way to communicate? Um, no. I thought that was the thing you did. The rose human specifically. Oh yeah, that's me. I am the rose human. Look at me, I am so smart with all these snooty words and complicated things to say. I am the queen of books. Okay, these are definitely insincere statements. Why do you work so hard at being so awful? This is just John being, you know, real with you. <sighs> I'm so burned. These birds are crazy. Can't we just cut to the chase and be friends already? These cat and mouse games are so dumb. You know we're just going to be all friends at some point anyway. Have we spoken before? I don't know, uh, maybe. It's hard to keep track with all your time nonsense. Now that I think about it, it is pretty conceivable that I will talk to you again in the past after this conversation. That's because you guys always do things the hard way, and the dumb way. I should figure out how the viewpoint feature of this application works, so I can see what such a primitive creature looks like. Haha, <laughs> well I know what you guys look like. Do we? When did we see how they look like? I don't know. You look kind of like Howie Mandel from Little Monsters. Even though to be perfectly frank, he was kind of a big monster. Because he was a big goofy adult, and Fred Savage was like his child prankster sidekick. Is this an adversary you have a counter on your quest? No, it's a movie. You should ask John about it. Oh, are you still pretending to be Rose John? Okay, you should ask John about it because he thinks it's awesome. Which it is. It seems you put stock in John's assessment of things. Even really under uninteresting things that are pretty terrible to listen to. He's either the leader of your party, or you hold whatever the human equivalent of mating fondness for him is. I don't think that's how it is, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I got him this really cool bunny for his birthday, and it's really nicely knitted and everything. Because I am basically in love with him. You are right. Uh, okay. Huh, <laughs> just kidding. I'm sure John knows it, because I am really thoughtful and I bet he was- and I bet he really appreciates the present. I will say thank you if he were here. <laughs> okay, John. Okay, human courtship is definitely a strange thing and it's sort of blowing my mind listening to this. I think I'll talk to someone else now. Why don't you talk to John? <laughs> John, you're see, you're like using Rose to tell this troll to go talk to you. Weird, but okay. Maybe. What along his timeline would you recommend communicating with him? Oh man, I don't know. Why don't you pick the time that will make the most complicated mess out of everything imaginable? You know, that's what you're gonna do anyway. 
considering that you're obviously not that smart, and basically understand what being bug, wing it, fuck all about even the most elementary temporal mechanics, I am a bit perplexed as to why I find myself so vehemently fondling the short end of the antagonism stick here. Kind of irritating. I'm going to talk to your comrades, this John human, and figure out what's going on. And yeah, maybe we'll all figure out what's going on. Okay, if you talk to him in the past, he'll understand even less monkey whip fuck all about time, and he'll be confused. So maybe paste something from this conversation to him? I don't know. And if you talk to him in the future, he'll probably know all this stuff, like things you've said to him but haven't said yet. And then you'll be confused. Sorry, that's just how this works. Don't say I didn't warn you. Consider me fully brief on the matter. Until next time, Rose. Next time in the past. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Why'd you just type the hey hey hey? Alright, John, I see what you're doing. <laughs> hey, look, you guys are really like just all like sitting next to each other. Look at this, man. They're just sitting next to each other like trolling us. That's crazy. That's wild. Grim Auxilia Tricks began trolling twin Armageddon's. Why are you trolling each other as well? Okay. If you're not too busy still setting up the network, perhaps you could come show me how to activate the, f the viewport. Oh no. Oh no, this person has so many eyes. I am in fact too busy to... No wait, what? To... T till? Hold up. I am in fact too busy still setting it up. Oh my god. Holy crap, mind blown. Whoa, here's an idea. Press F1. My keyboard is missing the F1 key. Lies. <laughs> Don't bother me, I'm not in the mood. If I see one more snarl of wires kind of jutting out and being tangled or whatever, I am going to perform some sort of athletic fucking somersault off the deep end and get a call from the president or some shit. So go away. You still like to talk more. If I recall, I was typically the one who would solicit reprieves from your nonsense, so I don't know what happened. That was before I knew we were all going to die, and no one believed me. And now look at you all. All believing me suddenly? Uh, I mean, hmm, uncanny. Then why are you doing this, setting up these stations for us? To get you all off my bulge about it. But I won't troll any of them personally, no way. Kind of juvenile. But you guys go knock yourselves out, okay? See the menu at top? Fiddle around with that till you open the viewport. I did fiddle with it, to no avail. To no avail. <laughs> if you can't figure shit out by fucking around, you don't belong near computers. Uh, I mean, they're kind of right. <laughs> kind of like with registered sex offenders and schools. What? If you move to a new town, you have to go up to your neighbor neighbor's door and warn them about how stupid you are and give them a chance to hide all their innocent technology and vandalize your house god dude i hate the way you type so many ones and twos and eyes like holy crap dun 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 okay why did you steal their f1 key Everyone is like just trolling each other. <laughs> F1 bonk. Wait, is this um... TA? Twin Armageddon's? <laughs> Look at them, they're kind of like... Rose and Dave troll equivalents. Rose and Dave, hey look, I was just talking about you guys. Shut up and jam. <laughs> Wait, am I jamming? How does this work? It's just, oh, oh, Jesus Christ, what the freaking hell? Jam. Gotta do anything else? I don't think- I think that's all I can do, man. This is all jamming that's possible. Like, this is, you know, very cool and- Oh, jeez, what the hell is this? Ew, gross, dude. Why are you keeping these kind of things? Hey, this music sounds familiar. It's the- it's the his style music. That's crazy. This is not familiar though. Or is it? I don't think so. Hmm. 
Oh, okay, this is weird. This is so weird. Nothing has been weirder. Okay, I, I, I guess that's everything. Dave showed you some of his sweet gear. Wow, he is so cool. Really? Really? Rose would never say this. <laughs> yeah, including this thing. <laughs> Excellent idea. I If I were there, I'd high five you, Rose. First, be the pony. Second, follow mom. Wait, mom's in the dream world too? Say what, mom? My pony! You are now the pony. <laughs> what the hell? You stand outside some ruins which your beloved mo master's mother entered recently. Outside you find a striking scarcity of oats or greenery or anything at all that's delicious to chew on. This is as compelling a reason as any to follow her inside. Maple hoof. Mm, okay, maple hoof, let's enter. It's a big ass ribbon, maple hoof. You go in the ruins, your clopping hooves echo throughout the cavernous and foreboding environment, but you are too stupid to be nervous. Your powerful snout detects the scent of Rose's mom. She went this way. Follow her scent. Whoa. Holy crap, Rose's mom, you are hardcore. This is crazy. And there's a freaking diamond here too. What? Say what? Good grief, look at all this grist. A large and terrible monster must surely have been slain here. Collect all that sexy grist, man. Maple Hoof, you are the... You know, the horse. <laughs> Damn, bro. That is wild. So wild. Grist Gutter. What is this? Grist Gutter, is this the torrent thing? You pick up all the grist and store it in Rose Grist Cash. What? That is so lucky of her. Your horse got all your grist for you. This is entirely too much grist of too many exotic types for such a low level player. But you'll take it. You don't look like a gift horse in the pink heart tattoo. The grist overflow is gathered by the grist gutter utility supplied by Grist Torrent. Ah, okay. It is stored and gradually redirected to other players. That is very useful. It's like peer to peer kind of situation. Proceed. Mother, why have you forsaken me? Rose's mom stands on a small platform and disappears. You are a little nervous about transportalizing yourself. As a quadruple grizzly bisection strikes you as a very real possibility, even though you're too dumb to think of such things. Mm, sure. <laughs> Maple hoof. That's ingenious. First, okay, John, first be the hat, second find dad. This is weird. Like, really weird. How is this even possible? Rose stops being the pony just in time for John to start being the hat. Hmm. And now we're gonna find a dad. I mean, our dad. <laughs> the breeze carries you to where you need to go. Oh yeah. Wait, he already has one. Although it's dirty, I guess. You settle in front of a man in sore need of a fresh hat. He gathers the clean hat, along with a shoe he found through similarly serendipitous. Serendipitous means to replace one he lost. I don't even know. It's Jade's grandpa with my sacred text. Is this Colonel Sassaker? <laughs> no, no words were exchanged that day. <laughs> How is, like, you guys just kicking ass and, like, transportalizing yourselves everywhere? Are you also players of this game? It's kind of like Jumanji, you know? They were the old players, the previous players. Visit Rose Alchemeter. Let's make some stuff. Although, I wonder if you use her Alchemeter, do you use your own Gris or do you use her Gris? That's the real question. You decide to try out the code Dave Spray gave you. Wait, which one? I don't know. Let's make the item. Hot damn. Fear no anvil. Uh, I don't think you have enough. This thing is huge and costs a fortune. Half a million pieces of build gris, garnets, diamonds, and gold, and a single piece of quartz. There's no way you can make that, let alone wield it, even with your ghost gloves. Well, that's a shame, because that looks awesome. Shrink it down. I'm still awesome, but now so tiny. 
Do we seriously have that much stuff? Use the Alchemeter scaling upgrade to reduce it to a more manageable and affordable size. You make a weapon called Fear No Anvil. Isn't that what it was called before? Shouldn't it be called like Fear No Anvil Tiny Edition or some crap? I don't know. Pester Dave Sprite. Dave Sprite, I made this cool weapon you gave me. Ectobiologist EB began pestering Turn Tech Godhead TG. So what is this? The thing the code made. Really powerful hammer. How do you know? Thought you couldn't use hammers. I can. Better be though. Got it from Hef Hephaestus. 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 I don't know. Who's that? Really tough to kill, dude. You killed him for it? Nope. How'd you get it then? Shenanigans. Okay. Sure. Shenanigans always get you cool stuff. Check out Dave's computer. The Dream Dave computer? How does that work, yo? What? In your dream world, you can see what's going on. Well, I guess Dave is still a server, but that is weird. It seems you have a visitor. Yeah, this thing. Have faced us, right? Or have faced us? I don't know, man. <laughs> she, she woke herself up. It's okay, Rose. I wasn't looking at anything. I didn't touch anything, girl, okay? Not a thing. But you can have this this person now. This uh, friend, Salamander friend. TA, fix GA's computer. There's no point in fixing it. It's beyond fixing. There's nothing to fix. Just gotta open the viewport. It's easy. Timelines, look at this crap. Trollian. Trump row. Okay, so it's like their version of Pester Trump, I guess. Ectobiologist, go see. You're the old ones here. Turn, ta -da 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 -da. Okay. Trolling, tactical therapist. That is whack, man. That is awesome. Very cool. Okay, I think this will be in the next log. Move it on. Actually, we oh we saw that previously. That was John pretending to be Rose talking to GA. Yes. Okay. That is very bizarre. Okay, examine laptop. Someone has been using your Pester Trauma account, and, see, and you somehow doubt the culprit was this young, upright amphibian presently throwing a fit. Shush, Casey, okay? Mom will be back soon. Or dad, I guess, I don't know. Go find John. You hurry to the door so you can catch John before he goes gallivanting off somewhere, but it seems your door is ajar. Funny, you don't remember leaving your door ajar, even though it's sort of absurd for you to take note of such a thing, considering John recently left your room. Oh well, it doesn't matter. You will now proceed through this door uneventfully. Proceed through door uneventfully. Wait a minute, this seems like a Nana Sprite prank, what? You get dumped on by a bucket full of hellacious blue phlegm aneurysm gushers as a thoughtful but mischievous thank you gesture from John. Oh, John. Your prankster's gambit plunges to an all-time low. My prankster's gambit? Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. But it's now plunged to an all-time low because I got pranked hard. You cannot hope to defeat Egbert in a prank off. He is simply the best there is. Equip trusty rocket. I thought this rocket was broken, still works. Rose obviously isn't waking up anytime soon. Actually, she just woke up. Might as well take some time to explore and maybe stop by again later. Aw, bye, Mutini. Aw, Mutini. <laughs> Why, Dr. Mailgon? Do you want to come along for the ride? It sure looks that way. Okay, hop aboard then. Adventure awaits. John, stop leaving <laughs> your stuff behind and then kidnapping Rose's, you know, pet cat. In any case, we're gonna leave this episode here before John blasts off and explores Rose's planet. I guess it would be interesting to explore because Rose hasn't really done much yet, I believe. All, all they've been doing is like building crap. So it's gonna be interesting, I guess, to explore. Seems like the other characters haven't really done much exploring. John is like way ahead. He's done like so much crap already. Although, right now, Rose has a lot of sexy grits because uh, what's her name? A uh, maple hoof. Collected all the stuff that Rose's mom, you know, she slayed something crazy and then she didn't collect the gris? What a waste. Or maybe she can't collect the gris. I don't know. Something to think about, you know? It's so weird because, like, right now, so, like, Jay's grandpa is here, uh, John's dad is here, and Rose's mom is here. So that leads, 
I mean, leaves. Uh, Dave's bro. Is he here? He did kind of, you know, after kicking Dave's ass, leave him the game and then kind of blast off into wherever. So I don't know if he's in the, you know, the medium. Because, you know, everyone else's family members is here. Or, you know, everyone and their, literally their mom. <laughs> everyone and their mom is here. So Dave's bro should be here. I feel like, I don't know. I'm not sure. But this is a lot of weird stuff going on because like, why are they here already? Okay, so it's understandable why, uh, you know, John is dead and Rose's mom is here. Because they got kind of like dragged in when the kids went in. But why is Jade's grandpa here? That's the weird part. Because in the real world, he's supposedly dead? Or maybe he's not? Or maybe like some whack timeline thing happened. He's like here. I, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know, a lot of stuff to ponder about. But I will leave this here for now with uh, Dr. Mailgon or... I, I don't know, I still like calling Mutini more. Oh, cute little Mutini. I guess we'll take you along for the ride. So we will see what exactly we're going to discover in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know what you think, especially about, you know, cute Mutini with all their four eyes. And I'll see you guys in the next video.